Hey folks, apologies, we decided to take a week off to catch our breath. Luckily, August has five weeks, so we aren't really cheating on the four-week commitment. In the meantime, here's a behind the scenes that I'm titling Stacy's Public Speaking Intervention. This was right after a fan pointed out that I say filler words a lot. We hope you enjoy, and we'll be back in action next week to talk about another exciting topic. We'll see you then. So my goal tonight, I, I, I don't have many goals. I don't even have many goals as to what we're, we're actually going to talk about with Israel. My one goal is to not say um or uh. It is ridiculous. I cannot rewatch our stuff now because uh, no, I'm I, looking I for it. to find some hey. way into getting to say it just out of like as a... As challenge. somebody who speaks for a living, we all have things that we do, right? So for me, it's touching my hair. When mm-hmm. I'm, and my hair is down, I'm constantly playing with my hair. Go back and watch. I play with yeah, my hair. Yeah, well, my mom actually uh, pointed out, like, when you got the, the new haircut, um, she she said, you know, she's like, I noticed Brooke got a new haircut. So she noticed immediately, before you even brought it up, she noticed. And then she was like, and she kept playing with her hair. So I, she's like, I had to notice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like, so, yeah. I mean, and that's oh, I one of all the time. I, I always wear it pulled back. <laughs> But here's my advice to you. If you concentrate too much on it, it becomes a thing Mm -hmm. and it keeps you from participating. So now that you know that it's there, don't concentrate on it so hard, (laughs) right? Because what you're going to do is you're going to like start to speak and think like, oh, am I saying um, or am I getting ready to say a word? Right. That's how I feel anytime I try to fix something like that. Like it runs me of the Charles Barkley golf swing. Have you ever seen his golf swing? He said yeah. like years and years of like, you know, golf coaches to try to help him. But he like, uh-huh. you can tell like every step of the way he like stops and thinks about what's the next thing it's supposed right. to do. And it's like all mechanical and not fluid in the least. Yeah. I, I really don't know how to stop doing it other than, you know, may embracing the silence the, because it, it says that we use filler words so that we aren't, we, we aren't ever silent. Like when we're, Speaking publicly, we use filler words to for our uh, speech to catch up with what we're thinking about. So instead of doing that, you let the sil- let, let the silence be there. Mm-hmm. And so you haven't said um or anything the whole time we've been talking. Yeah, not once, not once. So uh, we'll when, see. when we're recording, just try to think about it not being recorded. The other thing that I have found that I have to do while we're doing this Mm -hmm. is if I think of something and you all are talking, I have to write it down. I have a note sheet over here that I scribble. That is a great idea. (laughs) That way I'm not having to try to think of it. So I'm actually listening to what you have to say. And then when I start to talk, I'm not like, well, um, what was that again? You know, Mm -hmm. I can look down and I mean, sometimes it's just a word. So it'll jog my memory. Yeah, that's a great just, idea. Yeah, I'm going to pull up a note, note app, yep. and I'm, yep. <laughs> so that's good. I like that. See? I mean, if you go back and look, I have my pen in my hand half the time. I know. You look like you're taking a test at all times. I know. Like, <laughs> I learned that in conflict resolution, mm. taking all those classes and certifications and junk. I mean, we you can tell when you rewatch some of our episodes, especially our lighter ones, that you are way more comfortable public speaking than Bowling and I. Like Bowling says uh, sometimes. I say it 1,000 times a minute. Um, I, I feel like I, I just said it then. Um, I can't sit still more so than anything. Right, you fidget a lot spinning. too. <laughs> so you can definitely tell that you've been more experienced in public speaking than we are. But, um, I mean, it comes along And with I just said, um, again. See, uh, so, okay, I need, I need to the rule that you never want to say it ever because that seems that's what I was going to say. We all no. say it even in conversation. It, with one It's another, really when so. it's when it's repeated when when it's in the same sentence and it's multiple times in the same sentence. That's when it's a problem. So just oh, like. just say if you start find, saying yourself doing it, just say wait a minute. Okay, y'all for for our listeners. I just wanted to tell you that I've been trying and working on not saying, um, and I just did it four or five times or whatever, and then go on. I mean, you want to be authentic and everybody's sitting there listening. So what I have found is I can't get anybody to be on camera. Mm -hmm. Like people don't. And here's the thing. And I think this was my reticence about doing the Israel thing. People don't want other people going back and listening to what they said over and over again and picking it apart. Yeah. 
I, I think that makes you vulnerable. Yeah, it makes you incredibly you have one vulnerable. chance to record it, then somebody mm-hmm. else has as many chances as they need to pick it up. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, especially if you say anything wrong, correct, then which you know, is you inevitably going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Because yeah. ultimately, these are our opinions. They're not like it's not set in stone that these this is the correct thing that you should believe. These are just our opinions. So, yeah, I don't I don't know how well this is, this topic is going to go today. Um, hopefully, a train wreck. That hopefully, a train to make wreck. The best episodes. <laughs> That's right. Or <laughs> podcasts. Sorry. All right. Um, are we ready? As ready as I'm going to be. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Okay, welcome everyone to the Appalachian Liturgy Podcast. I am Justin Stacey. I'm Reverend Brooke Ashley. And I'm Justin Bowling. And tonight, uh, I think we want to talk about Israel. Israel's been in the uh, the headlines lately. And um, I just said, uh, again. So this explain sort of... to everybody what's going on with the uh and the ums. So I'm trying my best to not say uh and um public speaking wise i've noticed that um and i've just said it again that i say it a lot and it can be distracting it distracted me when i edited the videos so i'm going to make a conservative effort not to do that so if any of our listeners have any tips on public speaking and stopping um or any other thing drop it in the comments let stacy know Uh, apparently toastmasters is the solution for that, uh, I have been I told. Think, I think uh, bowling and I should get like some crazy noisemaker, and every time you do it, <laughs> that'd be great. We yeah. should do that actually. Make it like a swear jar, and every time you say it, you, you owe us a dollar. Ooh, I have a t- 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 gonna get rich. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cowbell, so what I could do is keep it handy, and then every time we pause and, and I'll ring the, 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 the thing every time I say it. <laughs> It would be like yeah. that TV show that one of my daughters listens to that you can't even pay, know what's going on because it's like every other word's rah, rah, rah. <laughs> like, how do you listen to that? Oh, goodness. Anyway, we digress. So we're back to Israel. Yep. Yes. So we um... thank you so much for tuning in. We really hope you got some enjoyment out of the podcast this week. Remember to check out our website, www.appalachianliturgy.com, and follow us on all of our social medias. If you want an easy way to support us, though, make sure to subscribe to our channels and like our videos on YouTube. Also, join our email list for updates and let us know how we're doing. See you next week, everyone. Appalachian Liturgy Podcast is a JRS Studios production.